All right, we're on Megillah, Perik, Aleph, Mishnah, Yud, Aleph, the last of the Ein Bains. There's Ein Bain means there's no difference between this, Ella, that, except that. So we talked in our last Mishnah, we talked about the idea of the difference between Heter Bamot and Isur Bamot, when the private uh, um, altars were permitted and when they were, when, they, when they were prohibited. So we said that when they built the Mishkan, the sanctuary in Shiloh, in ancient Shiloh, you can actually go visit there today, Okay, you can find it on your website if you want. Okay, you can visit. They built a whole visitor center, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then there was an isur bamot. Why? Because they built a mishkan. So, i.e., it was like they built a mini beit hamikdash. So, our mission discusses well, what is the difference between Shiloh and the beit hamikdash? Says the Mishnah, and ben Shiloh the Yerushalayim. There's no difference between Shiloh and Yerushalayim except this major difference. Ella be Shiloh ochlim kadashim kalim umaaser sheni bechol haroya. There's a rule that if you wanted to take, if you wanted to eat what's called kadashim kalim. Uh, certain types of light kudshim, kudshim are uh, items of holiness. Okay, for example, <coughs> korban pesach. So when you ate the korban pesach, you had to be brought to Yerushalayim. For example, it had to be eaten in Yerushalayim or a korban shlamim. Those are kudshim kalim that could be eaten anywhere in Yerushalayim or maaser sheni. Remember, there's a thing called maaser sheni. You take off a tenth on certain years of the seven year shemitah cycle, and you have to bring it to Yerushalayim. So instead of bringing it to Yerushalayim, they would bring it to Shiloh. The problem is Shiloh didn't have walls. So where could you eat if there was no walls? If there's no, there's not a city. So there in Shiloh you ate it b'chol ha-ro'eh. Okay, should be Shiloh ochlim kachim kalim u'maser sheni b'chol ha-ro'eh. In, in anywhere you could see Shiloh. Any place you could see the, the distance. And that's pretty far. If you want to know where Shiloh is, so Shiloh is right on the 60. Okay, but if you want to, let's, let's go out. And if you see it, if interestingly, if you want to see it from, let's see if I could see it from the, from the satellite. Because this is where you could really see Okay, if you see on the Google satellite, Shiloh is here, and you can see that there are, th- this is the, the 60 road, passes through Kudumim, Ariel, Shiloh. So there are all these mountain ranges you can see. You can see a Shiloh from really far away. You can see it from quite on high. You probably can see it from Ariel. You can definitely see it from Ma'ale Levona, all these different areas that are around there near Shiloh. Okay, you can, you're, you're able to see along the 60, you can see that there are all these High, high areas, right? These mountain areas, these high, high areas. If you zoom in more, then Google will start to show you. Definitely from Ale Levona, definitely from the areas that are high, definitely from wherever, Jijilia, all these Atara. You can definitely see Shiloh from there. I wonder, I don't know from the east how far you can see it, but nonetheless, uh, from, that's a big kula, it's a big leniency vis-a-vis Shiloh. Let's go back to our Mishnah. About Yushalayim, if you want to eat Yushalayim, Lifni min hachoma. You can only eat these things inside the walls of the city. Okay, you have to actually be in the walls. You, even though you, from, from where you could see it, that doesn't matter. You have to be in the city. Vikan, vikan, kudshe kudshim ne'echalim lifnim and haklaim. So remember we said kudshim kalim, light. But kudshe kudshim are more serious, more, more significant korbanot. Korban chatat, korban asham, that are only eaten by the kohanim. And they only eat lifnim and haklaim, inside the klaim, the gates of the actual mishkan or the beta migdash. Koranim could eat those korbanot, but only inside the Beit Hamikdash itself. Finally, the Mishnah says, "Kedushat Shiloh yesh acharei heter." Kedushat Yushalayim ein acharei heter. The sanctity of Shiloh, when the Shiloh was destroyed, kishecharva Shiloh, when Shiloh was destroyed, hutru abamot. There was you were allowed to now have. Uh, once it was destroyed, then the bamot were permitted. Remember, we saw in our chart, okay, after chovat korban. Oops, that was a korban when Shiloh was destroyed. Then, Heter Bamot was permitted. But when the Beit HaMidash was destroyed, then Bamot were prohibited. Now, maybe when the Beit HaMidash was Chorban Beit HaMidash, when the Beit HaMidash was destroyed, the, 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 the Mishnah says, no. Once the Beit HaMidash was built, the, the Bamot were prohibited permanently. There's no Bamot for us today. We can't offer private Korbanot in our backyards. Okay, we'll stop here, as we always do. I want to remind you that if you have, uh, you can watch Mishnah Yomit, not only on YouTube, but if you saw it on YouTube, you can actually watch it on our Mishnah Yomi site, and you can access all of the Mishnah in our handy-dandy Mishnah calendar, so you can keep up to Mishnah Yomi each and every day. We'll stop here. Have a great day.